Are you confused about these new German packaging laws that are coming in on the 1st of July 2022? Well, I was confused as well, so I've got some answers and it's pretty important. Hey, welcome back to Cooking Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris and I'm a full-time reseller predominantly using eBay. And um, I just thought I'd do a quick video because I'm trying to get my head around this new German packaging act that's coming in on the 1st of July 2022. And if you're watching this after the 1st of July 2022, then it's already in and you might really need to take action now. So it's pretty complicated and something that you really need to remember and it's a bit confusing is that if you use GSP, so eBay's Global Shipping Programme, you are not immune to this. You've still got to take action. eBay's GSP will not cover this. Sometimes GSP will repack your items, but it doesn't get you around this legislation. You've still got to follow this. So the first thing is, I'll pop up on screen, um, you can find all the information on eBay's pages. If you go to the help section and just type in German packaging, it will come up. There's a section, uh, an article that says, I'm reading it here, it says the German Packaging Act for Business Sellers. Um, and here's roughly what it says. I'll just flip through the highlights. It's very complicated. And it basically just says, when you sell packaged items to buyers in Germany, you must follow the requirements of the German Packaging Act. This applies to all business sellers sending items to German delivery addresses. As of the 1st of July 2022, eBay is legally obliged to confer confirm our sellers meet those requirements. If you do not comply with the Packaging Act, your eBay account may be restricted. That's really important, right? So if you don't comply with this, you, you're at risk, you're at big risk, not only of potentially getting fines from Germany or whatever, but also your eBay account could be at risk. So it says here, the sellers that are affected by the Packaging Act, um, it's basically business sellers whose items end up with private consumers in Germany. And this includes packaging your items and sending them or importing already packaged items into Germany. So it goes on to give you a load of requirements and basically, and I'm try still trying to get my head around this because it's complicated. So basically, um, there are three legal requirements under this packaging act. I mean, to be fair, I never heard anything so stupid. Um, there's a license um, um, it's just so that you can participate participate in the system um, and it's, it says it's a dual system whatever that means um, you have to register in the lucid register um, and after registration you'll receive an individual lucid registration number and you have to submit that number to your dual system um, you enter the name of your dual system and your packaging quantity licensed in step one in the Lucid Report register of the S of the ZSVR. This is ridiculous. I mean, I, this is not eBay's fault, by the way, guys. This is coming from Germany, their new rules or whatever. Um, there's a, uh, eBay have put here that there's a partner for their packaging law is Lizenzero, Lizenzero. Uh, is a licensing platform of the dual system. Um, then you've got to submit this Lucid number to eBay. Um, and then it talks about packaging, what types of packaging. Listen, I'm not going to go through this whole article. The best thing for you to do is, is to go and read it yourself. So if you send stuff internationally to Germany, you need to sort this out. So there's two ways of doing it. Either go through this system and follow the registration. I think there's a cost involved in that as well and figure it out or turn off Germany in your uh, international settings 
and your GSP settings. It's really important. GSP will not save you from this. You've got to sort it out. You've got to turn off Germany if you don't want the hassle of this. Hopefully, something simpler will come out and it will be made a little bit easier for us. And then we can turn it back on. But for me, for now, I'm turning off Germany. Okay, so apologies for the shaky cam. I'm just trying to do two things here. So um, if you go to your settings page and then find your postage settings, just down here, you can see I'm enrolled in GSP, um, but just down here, exclude postage locations. So at the moment, I've only got one on there. So let's go and edit that. So here you can see all the locations which you can edit. So I'm going to click on uh, I'm going to click on Europe. I'm going to go to Germany. And I always have PO boxes excluded. Um, so I also want to apply this to current listings here. Um, and I don't want to GSP to override it because if GSP override it, they're going to start trying to send to Germany. So I'm going to take off the override button on the GSP because I want my settings to apply to GSP as well. I don't want GSP to override what I've just selected. So I'm going to save that and that should do it. Now, also, what you might want to do is go into your bulk edit tool and just um, do your exclude locations on bulk edit as well. I'm not sure whether that affects it or not, but um, it could be worth looking at too. When you're done, just go and have a look at some of your listings and just see if the actual excluded locations have indeed been excluded. Just having a look at one of my items just to check and straight away I'm seeing here postage doesn't post to Germany in red. Um, so if you click on see details here, here's all your postage locations. So it says that these are all the places I will post to and it says excludes PO Box, Germany, Haiti and all these. It looks like some of these have already been excluded by GSP probably and there in red doesn't post to Germany. So job done. And hey presto, this big headache, this big headache, which is what it is, is, is gonna go away for now. Yes, you're gonna lose some sales to Germany, but at the moment for me, and probably for some of you, this is just a headache that I just can't be asked with until they sort it out. Um, I have been onto eBay today. They've confirmed with me today eBay's um, Facebook um, business page um, have confirmed that all this information, they've sent me the link, they told me that GSP does not save you from this and um, you've still got to follow the rules and regulations and the registrations. So um, just because eBay sometimes repackage, it's not just about that. You've got to get a license and all this stuff. Anyway, there's the information. Do with it what you will, but I would suggest you do something sooner rather than later because you don't want to get caught short with this and you don't want to end up um, with um, your account limited or some kind of fine coming your way from these German regulations. Anyway, that's it. I hope that's helped you. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Share it around because this is important information. See you later, guys. Happy sales. Maybe not to Germany.